What's up guys, Jake Whitaker, Bassmaster Elite Series Pro. Just wanted to give you guys a quick recap of uh, my last two events. The first one being on Lake Hartwell, uh, which is a lake that I'm very familiar with and had a lot of fun at. Uh, ended up finishing 12th there, so great event, good points event. And then from there, we traveled south about a few hours down to Winyaw Bay, uh, South Carolina, and ended up finishing 15th there. So <clears throat> another great tournament, another great points event. Gained a lot of points, uh, made up a lot of ground these last two weeks. So, um, you know, just real excited about that. But um, the recap is really going to be very simple. Uh, it was a one-two approach um, for both places. Ended up being the same for both places. Um, and the first thing um, I knew going into the Hartwell event, the fish were getting ready to come up, go on beds. Um, so the main thing um, that worked down there, and it always works on Lake Hartwell when the bass are just moving up and going on beds, is a wacky rig. And this right here is a bad dude. This is the Biz Bates Sassy Stick. Um, and again, I was throwing that uh, wacky rig, um, throwing that on the ALX Ico Soul 7 medium heavy rod, um, braid, P line braid to. Um, a 12 pound P-Line tactical four carbon leader, uh, probably a six foot leader, just a real simple setup. So all I was doing with that was just throwing it around docks um, and that dog fennel grass that Hartwell has. Um, and really I was just fan casting it. I didn't do um, a, lot of, a lot of sight fishing, but that was my second approach. Um, and, and what I used for um, you know, fish that I just found on bed, uh, and and, th and I'm talking, you know, fish that I found during the tournament. I didn't I didn't have any fish that you know that I was in dire need to get to the first day of the tournament. So I just uh, you know found these fish during the tournament, and that was and I what I used on those is was a white cutter crawl from Biz Baits. Um, and and do, guys, if you have not tried this bait out, and, and I'm talking as a jig trailer, swim jig trailer. Um, just as a Texas rig, bed fishing, whatever it may be, you guys need to check out the cutter crawl from Biz Baits. But I was throwing that on the Zolo Toad Face, uh, seven foot two, uh, medium heavy action rod. Uh, throwing that on 17 or 20 pound P line tactical, just whatever. I had a couple rods yep, rigged up for bed fishing. Um, but you know, that was the main deal for the bed fishing. So, um, you know, like I said, just a couple. Um, you know, found a couple fish on beds during the tournament, but the main deal, uh, Hartwell, was the wacky rig sassy stick from Biz Baits. Um, ended up having a great event. Like I said, finished 12th. Caught a ton of fish, ton of ton of fish doing that. Um, so really excited to get out of out of out of Hartwell with a you know a 12th place finish. So on to Winyaw Bay. Winyaw Bay was a you know a, a tough fishery, but it's it it is full of fish. Believe it or not. I practiced uh, the first day of practice down at the Cooper River and had some bites, just, but it just w didn't fit my style. Uh, I didn't really like what I saw down there, but th that, that place is full of fish too. But um, I spent the next two days of practice uh, up the Waccamaw and, and found really two or three little areas that had a lot of fish moving up to, to spawn. And, um, and again, it was the, uh, Weightless uh, sassy stick from Biz Baits again on the Ico Soul 7. A great all around spinning rod. Um, you can do tons and tons of things with that rod. So if you guys um, are looking for a spinning rod, make sure you guys check that out. But um, landed 95% of my fish at Winya on the sassy stick from Biz Baits. Um, but the, the last day, the third day, I did end up catching a bed fish uh, on the cutter crawl. So, again, just kept it really simple at, uh, at both places. Um, Let's see that thing. And I, and I think that's really what helped me uh, to do as well as I did. So, um, again, you know, if you guys are, you know, going out to your local lakes right now, an awesome time to be throwing a wacky rig. Make sure you guys check out Biz Baits. Um, they make an awesome line of, a line of soft plastics. Um, again, the sassy stick, rigged, wa rigged wacky style is uh is an awesome setup you can catch a ton of fish doing um fishing that way so you guys check them out uh again alx rods all my sponsors um and, and one more important thing that that helped me this week 
Um, I'm using Blue Otter polarized sunglasses. And I, I've used a bunch of sunglasses and you know, I, I'm sure everybody has, but you owe yourself the opportunity to check out Blue Otter polarized. These are high quality glasses. Um, and gosh, I saw a lot of fish uh, over the last two weeks that, you know, I think people, you know, rode right over because uh, I was fishing behind a lot of people these last two events. So you guys check them out, Blue Water Polarized. I think you'll be thoroughly impressed. Um, but again, I just can't thank all of my sponsors enough uh, for allowing me to do what I do. So um, looking forward to getting to Texas. Uh, that'll be a fun one, catch some big ones there. So you guys stay tuned, follow along, and uh, we'll see if we can't keep uh, this, this top 15 streak going. So thanks guys, y'all have a good one.